Introduction. Before you start as a technician, you must understand a basic rule of business. Time is money. Whether you are boss or work for someone else, the ability to identify and isolate a fault quickly and decisively is very important to the success of your business. It requires some common sense and a little bit of focus. It also requires an understanding of the troubleshooting process and reliable plan of action. Even though the number of configuration and setups are virtually unlimited, the methodology used to approach each repair is always about the same. This introduction is intended to isolate the concepts of basic troubleshooting and show you how to apply basic repair steps that will help you narrow the problem down before you even take a screwdriver to the mobile phone. By applying a constant technique, you can save precious time from every repair. The general troubleshooting steps. Regardless of how your particular smartphone might be, a dependable troubleshooting steps can be broken down into four basic steps. 1. Define your symptoms. 2. Identify and isolate the location of your problem. 3. Replace the suspected component. And 4. Rate test the component thoroughly to be sure that you have solved the problem. If you have not solved the problem, start again from step 1. This is a universal procedure that you can apply to any sort of troubleshooting, not just for phones. Define your symptoms. When a phone breaks down, the cause might be as simple as a loose wire or a connector, or as complicated as an IC or component failure. Before you start, you must have a good understanding of all the symptoms. Think about the symptoms carefully. By recognizing and understanding your symptoms, it can be much easier to trace a problem to the appropriate component. Take the time to write down as many symptoms as you can. As a technician, you must often write problems and solutions for reference purposes. Identify and isolate. Before you try to isolate a problem within a piece of hardware, you must first be sure that the equipment itself is causing the problem. In many cases, this will be fairly obvious, but some situation might not be. A faulty or improperly configured piece of software can cause confusing system errors. When you are sure that it is a system's hardware failure, you can begin to identify which component fails. Replace because phones are designed as a subunit, it is almost always easier to replace a subunit outright rather than attempt to repair the subunit to its component level. Even if you had the time to isolate defective component, many parts are not interchangeable, so it is better to replace the defective part than try to repair it. Ray test. When a repair is finally complete, the system must be reassembly carefully before testing it. All guards, housings, cables, and shields must replace before final testing. If symptoms persist, you will have to reevaluate the symptoms and narrow the problem to other parts of the equipment. If normal operation is restored or greatly improved, test the phone's various function. When you can verify that the symptoms have stopped during actual operation, the equipment can be returned to service. As a general rule, it is wise to let the system run for at least 24 hours to ensure that the replacement subassembly will not fail prematurely. Do not be discouraged if the equipment still malfunctions. Maybe software settings and device drivers may need to be updated too. If you are tired, simply walk away, clear your hand, and start again by defining the current symptoms. Never continue with a repair if you are tired or frustrated tomorrow is another day. Even the most experienced troubleshooters get overwhelmed from time to time. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more tutorial videos and more updates.